Revelation 256. From the 12th of January 1938. Warning. Working against God's Word. Serious Admonition. O oh, thank the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth. He mentions those who are ready to serve Him and instructs them at all times. And so you have the grace again and again to be allowed to receive the words of the Lord and to accept them as strengthening of your spirit. Pay attention to these words. Whoever receives from the Lord must remain in the Lord to fulfill his task. For the fate of man is still bearable. But once the time will come where the word of God will be the only and true consolation for the children of men where people in bitter distress will approach the Father in heaven for help and then it will be given to them in his word. The soul will long for divine gifts and will turn its back on the world. The Lord will destroy what still clings to the world, and his wrath will strike sinners who want to rob the seeking and God-seeking souls of heavenly comfort. For God has mercy on his children, but where the spirit of the adversary works against them, that he will be stopped. Therefore seek to rest yourselves from darkness as long as God in his long suffering has given you a period. And if you cannot yet receive the words of the Lord, avoid anything that could bring the wrath of the Lord upon you. Do not work against him. His creation wants to go to the light if it is not hindered by hostile powers. And everyone also finds the way to the light, just make sure that all warnings and admonitions that are sent to him are not rejected. If the child on earth thinks about the great question of creation and his own task, the Lord gives him also his blessing and brings the thoughts of man closer to the truth. But he who autocratically rejects everything that could bring him spiritual light gets into great guilt. To those comes the hour when the Lord speaks to him with a resounding voice, and if then his heart does not turn to the truth, then his life is a lost one, and the adversary draws him completely into his domain. Oh how lukewarm you all are when it is a matter of reaching the highest and most beautiful and making yourselves worthy of an unspeakably beautiful eternity. A bright, radiant, light flooded beyond is open to you, and you walk in darkness of spirit. You need only beg the Lord for grace, and the glory of eternal life is assured. Instead, you turn away from his love. You do not make use of the fullness of grace that is at your command, and let day after day pass without remembering that a Father dwells in heaven, who calls you and has prepared his kingdom for you. Recognize the divine love and desire it before the earthly guilt completely blinds you and you block the way to the Father. Every sinner is accepted when he only repentantly implores the Father for mercy but he who rejects the Father's mercy closes the door to eternity for himself, and his end is death. Amen.